children. Praise the Lord. How have you been doing? It is Sunday again, the exciting time of the week. My name is Teacher Grace and today I'm with Teacher Emily. Teacher Emily, wait for the children. We are so happy today that we are going to study about the Word of God. We are still in, in our kids' devotion no? Mm? And we are going to study about committing to God through the Bible. Mm? But first of all, I want to first thank you so much, those of you who are reading your kids' devotion every day. Today we are on day seven. If you do not have this kids' devotion, it looks like this. It's a very pretty and beautiful book. If you do not have a copy, ask mommy or daddy to call us, to call any life kids teacher to come and give you the book. Or mommy can pass by church and get you a copy of this book. It has amazing stories and so many things to learn. Wow! By the way, I want to tell you a story, but we shall do that after. Let's first give my friends here that have visited today some flowers. Shh. These friends of mine are from Life Kids church said and they are wonderful children let's give those wonderful children out there who are watching some flowers we love you so much and today as we're going to study let's give it up for teacher emily yeah she's going to teach us more about committing to god through the bible she's going to explain everything my dear friends who visited today Hmm? These, these wonderful children are going to be explaining to us certain things. They're even going to ask teacher Emily questions and they're going to also answer some questions. But we need to first go and praise and worship. Who is excited about praise and worship? Hey, there is going to be some dancing and praising the Lord. We raise our hands and worship Jesus and worship God. And then we'll come back to listen to what teacher Emily has to tell us. Are you not excited? Yes! Let's go for praise and worship and see you when we come back. Hello, children. Come on, get up. It's time to praise and worship the Lord. Just give me high five in the air like this. Woo! Come on, children. Join us and dance like us. Dance like this.
beautiful how are my friends there hello can you say high five to the friends out there nice to see you glory be to god that you're all alive so today we are going to read through our devoted kids do we all have this book i guess so we must be having our books and our topic today says committed to god through the bible can we say committed to god and our memory verse is going to come from Ezra chapter 7, verse 10. Can someone read for us there? Ezra chapter 7, verse 10. Get your mic, Elijah. Ezra chapter 7, verse 10. It says, For Ezra had devoted himself to the study and observance of the law of the Lord and to and to teaching its decrees and laws in Israel. Amen. Thank you so much, Elijah. Ezra was devoted to the book of the Lord. He used to read the Bible. He used to really follow the regulations and the laws of the, of the Bible. Amen. And he used to teach the Bible to the people of Israel. So today, we are going to recite our memory verse. Okay. Are we all ready? Yes. Are we ready to recite the memory verse today? Yes. Okay, get ready. 
Okay. Ezra chapter 7 verse 10. Can we repeat it? Ezra chapter 7 verse 10. Ten. Wow, beautiful. Which says this was because Ezra had determined to study and obey the law of the Lord and to teach those decrees and regulations to the people of Israel. Amen. So this is how we can be committed to God. Amen. We have three commitments that we are supposed to follow. Are you listening clearly? Yes. The one commitment says... By reading the word of God, which is in the Bible, every day. Can we repeat the one commitment? By reading the word of God, which is in the Bible, every day. That is the one commitment we have to follow, using our commitment to God through the Bible. So the second commitment reads, obeying to do what it says, we should do. Can we repeat? Obeying to do what it says we should do. Hallelujah. We should be in position to do what the Bible is telling us to do. Amen. So the third one, the third one, how does it say? Teaching to others by telling them what we have read in the Bible and what we have understood. Can we say it together? Teaching others by telling them what we have read in the Bible and what we have understood. Okay, now I get back to you. We have three commitments. We have... The first one is to read your Bible. Every day. Every day without fail. Read, memorize it, and recite. Okay? Then the second one, it says, obeying to do what it says. Okay? Obeying the word of the Lord. If the word of the Lord is saying, don't steal, do you have to steal? I don't think you have to steal because the Bible says do not steal. So you should do what the Bible is saying, never to steal. And the third one says teaching others by telling them the word of the Lord. Once you understand this word of the Lord, you need to be in position to teach your friends. To do what? Teach your friends. Wow, beautiful. Now, now. This is what we need to do. We need to read the Bible every day. Memorize the Bible and recite. Yes, teacher Grace. Teacher Emily, there is this beautiful song that I remember. Okay, can we sing it together? Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. Beautiful. Wow. Thank you so much, Teacher Grace. So I welcome the questions. Okay. Do you have any questions for Teacher Emily? Okay. Can I get to know, first and foremost, in our today's lesson, where did we pick the lesson from? Which book of the Bible? Teacher Grace, who is raising up the hand? Everybody that we scream. Oh. Ezra. Chapter 7, verse 2. Wow, you guys are doing very well. I like that. Who was so committed to the word of the Lord? Can I get to know who was committed to the word of the Lord? Oh, still everybody knows the answer? Can we say it together? Ezra! Wow, you guys are doing it well. I like that. Woo! Teacher Grace, we need to give this guy some coffee. All right? Some yes. tea for them. Beautiful yes. children. Okay, now, tell me the three things. Tell me the three commitments that we have just learned about. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sinza. Bible every day. 
beautiful. Can we show, can we show some love to Sinza? Some flowers. Some to flowers. Shh. Reading Sinza. the Bible every, every day. day. Beautiful, beautiful reading the Bible every day. Okay, thank you so much, children. May God bless you. I wish you a good time. Love your parents. Read your Bible every day and teach others the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Bye. Amen. I love you.